This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries Unit 3 Animation and Games Lesson 9 Sprite Movement Part 14. I'm really excited about this one. So we're going to make our own animation and it's going to be awesome. Uh, as it says, make an animation on your own using the counter pattern, right? Where we update something and have it change sizes and uh, add to some variable or a property, sprite property. And remember, properties are like height, or not height, x, y, scale, all that. Make an animation all your own. You might consider building on the static image you've made in the past, or come up with a new image, create, or tell a story. To start, get a static scene set up, add images in the animation, create in a sprite, and assign images, set up the draw loop to draw the background and your sprites. Okay. So first off, the background, I'm going to grab this. Um, sky blue is usually a safe bet, so that's what I'll set up at first and change it if needed. Um, I think the best way to do these, and by I mean I think, is the uh, the best way to do these is corny jokes. And so I uh, particularly like a joke I found, and that is, what is a kangaroo's favorite type of music? Eh? hip hop hop hip hop so that is what my scene is going to be based around oh i hope they have a oh good we got a kangaroo yes hip hop that's so funny uh let's give our kangaroo a friend um the friend <laughs> dalmatian doesn't make that much sense mm -hmm. <gasps> hippo our friend the hippo hi hippo Ooh, look at the... Anyways, all right. And then they're going to be listening to some of their favorite jams. Is there, like, a speaker? Yes. Boom. Oh, oh, should we do a mic as well? Let's get crazy. Let's try to do a mic. No. No, let's not. Let's do music notes. That makes sense. Music note. Because this is what we're going to animate. The notes are what can be animated I uh, I don't know we grab one of those one of those one of these guys sure all right and let's go to our code and now let's set up oh I have one more thought we're gonna have a bunch of sprites what about a background do they have a Ooh, a stage. I'm not sure we'll have them singing. Now, the thing about having a sprite as a background is you got to remember when you set the animation, that is the order that sprites are going to be drawn in. So let's start getting all of our sprites. Boom, one sprite, one set animation, two sprite, set animation. We had two characters, three music notes, and a background. Five. I think that's enough. Okay, so starting with our kangaroo, our kangaroo's name is K. Not sure you knew that, but that's our variable for our kangaroo now. Um, you could do something different. Kangaroo. Oh, ooh, and I had just said, though... I actually need my background to be first. So they called it stage. I guess I'll call it a stage. And then, oops, K the kangaroo. I'll put their names first. Well, I'm going to forget. So stage one, K the kangaroo. And that is going to be kangaroo. And then, um, hippo is just going to be hippo because I'm not original, I guess. And then speaker. These are going to be the music notes. Note one, and I think we have three. Note two. And, ooh, we got a lot of sprites this one. Note three. Uh, we got to set their animations. Uh, 
that's everything. And oh, we got this. Let's go ahead and do our draw sprites. They're all going to be stacked on top of each other, but let's see. Yep, they are. <laughs> um, but they look like, yep, and our background is last because we have it up here at the top, which is what we wanted. So awesome. I think we're just setting up sprites, and now we're going to do the rest of it next one. Yep, so these are the sprites I have. But da We got it started. Awesome. And then on 15, we're going to animate it and all that. So I'm excited. Let's keep going.